Okay, we're going to start showing you the transverse approach for the flex attendants. The profundus and the digitorum are, are visible here, just proximal to the MCP. So we're going to trace it to the level of the MCP there. And at, uh, at that point, you see the A1 pulley on top. And we continue to go distally. Do, do work it hard with your probe, the angle, because it changes constantly. And so now we're over the MCP. We're going to go to the second pulley coming up there. And if you then start looking into the tendons itself, again, work it a bit harder with your probe to get the good um, reflection. There's the profundus breaking through and the superficial tendons on either, each side of it. So now we can go back. Now we go to the joint line. And there's the next pulley, the A3 on top. And then we continue slowly up. There's another one, another pulley on top. And it slowly goes to the distal phalange where in a moment, the profundus will attach to the bone, which is the last bit there. It does require constant adjustment of the small hockey stick probe, um, and that's how we do it in cross section, transverse. Now we do the longitudinal, start in the same place, so just proximal to the MCP, pick up the tendons there, and at the level of the joint, there should be a, a, a pulley. It's quite hard to see. Sometimes you have to work it hard. You can try to sort of make a passive movement and see if you can find that pulley on top. That's the A1 pulley. Then we go past the joint. And now we're going to go further up there. And then in the middle should be the second pulley coming up, which is coming up on your right there, there. You can see the tendon underneath it is pushed against the bone. The pulley keeps it in place quite nicely there. Then we go to the next joint. Coming up here. Yeah, do pay attention to the volar plate, which is underneath the tendon, the joint level. And again, there's a pulley on top there, quite thin. You have to look for it carefully. There's the, eighth, there's the third pulley. And then we're going to go further up. And here's the next pulley coming in view. Again, you can see how it nice keeps the tendon tight against the bone. It's a normal appearance, therefore. And then we can follow it through. It gets thinner there. There's the profundus coming through. That's the last bit. And there's the distal interphalange. And you can see it going into the bone on the distal part over there. And that's it.